Ali je stav, peši muzik video. Thank you for joining us on my catalog. Today is a special day because today we got SB19. Yes, SB19 back in the building. And today we're going to watch the music video. And uh, we love their music videos as well. They're very creative. So we're super excited. The song is called Wyatt, Where You At? And uh, it's the official music video. So let's get into it. They're definitely back in the day. Yeah, 60s. Yeah. 50s. Except for Pablo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he got the clock. Oh, yeah. He even got the greaser here, man. Look at that. Yeah, Ken's styling, yo.
Beagle sick, yo. That was a nice video too. Yeah, they went they went up in every like de different decade, right? They started 50s, 60s, 70s with the disco, then they went to the 80s with the arcade. Yo, That's hold nice. on though, hold on, it's still going, yo. Oh, modern day. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, my man's got all the donuts and pizza, yo. What a combination. That's a sick flex. They're all just chilling in their different locations in the world, around the world. Look, that's what it seemed like to me. And and they went through all the years, just like Remarkable said too. Yeah. Yo, yeah. you know, you know what this song like would be nice for, like a skating ring. You know, like when you go skating, like this is the, you know, it's almost like disco like slash like uh, Bruno Mars's. That's what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. it, it sound like a Bruno Mars song. Like, um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. It's tough. I wasn't expecting it in English, and they did a great job in English. Yeah, know? I didn't think they were going to do it in English. But yeah. I was wrong. But yeah, I, I like the video. I like. I love the greaser look, too. I, I, I thought they looked cool as greasers. Yeah. And they traveled in so many different places. They did such a great job. Yo, the choreograph was on point, too. And it was funny scenes in there, too, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. dope. I love I like that, like, the mind. little uh, diner. Mm -hmm. Diner was cool as shit too there was a lot happening in that diner you know even had the mcdonald's logo at the back too like yeah. super yeah so you can that, definitely tell this is like 50s for sure yeah that 50s was like my favorite part because I, I love that era i love like that old school kind of diner looking and they had one of my favorite cars in there they had the 57 like like and it's like a you could sit down they made it they turned it into like a like a booth Oof. where you could sit in yeah. there and stuff like that but it's like the actual car that's a 57 chevy bel air love that car man yeah, yeah that, and they they kept that whole look like the greaser look was dope like the choreography in them like using the car like like sliding over and stuff like that and like, that was yeah. dope i like that like mm -hmm. the lyrics was really nice yo like the lyrics wasn't like you know what a song like this would have usually you know what i mean they were talking about the soul and all this stuff like it was it was really nice lyrics too you know what i mean grooving with the music <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, yeah, it's yeah, definitely yeah. a definitely a get on the dance floor kind of song. Like you said, yeah. like Bruno Mars. That's what I when I was listening to it, I always think it's Bruno Mars in the background. Yeah, that that was dope. That's what it remind me of. So, you you know, yeah. like I, I've never like banged a uh, boombox before to to get it like going. TVs mm -hmm. for sure. Like back in the day, like I've seen it many times where people have to mess with the antenna and kind of hit it. But with the cassette tapes, I don't think I've ever done that. But that looked cool, though. Like, you know what I mean? When he's like, dish, dish, turn it back on. Yeah, I don't it's remember cool. uh, doing that either. But I do remember having a little phone box. Yeah, I know. And oh, theirs oh. look used, too. Like, it wasn't like, you know, they bought it brand new. You could see the little scratches and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, they had a real 80s one that like, was super big. Yeah. Like, I grew up in the 90s where they got smaller. <laughs> so you yeah. Can, yeah, way smaller. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think those were the ones that used to hit because you had to have those giant batteries, right? And those batteries uh, never like stayed in place, so you used to have to hit mm -hmm. them to try to keep the batteries from like falling out and stuff. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. That yeah, those sense. are the that's the big boom boxes. But yeah, I like them. I like them better in the 50s. The 50s is my favorite era. Yeah, like 15. they just look cool as greasers, man. I wonder what the Philippines looked like in the 50s. Did it look like this? Did it look like America's 50s? Or what kind of I, 50s they looked like? I know where I'm from. We was like 120 years behind. Yeah. <laughs> America. I don't, I don't yeah, but when they had in like... 1950s over here, we didn't have till the 1990s. <laughs> you uh, know what I mean? Not, not, even, like, not even yeah. close, bro. Like, you know, whatever they had here, like, we was so far behind. Oh, we was in like Stone Age. I want to say the Philippines know. was the same way, though, too, because the Philippines started catching up and started trending with America like once. Like social media started getting big i think and then they started seeing it all the time then they tried to emulate it but i don't mm -hmm. think in the 50s i don't think they were doing that i think they were doing their own thing i think their 50s look completely probably different than our 50s I, what's crazy about this is like th this look right here like if right now if you walking down the street and you see a bunch of people and they got tattoos all over their body they got a bandana around their neck yeah, big hats, baggy clothes. You're gonna be like, oh, I, I want to walk. I'm walking around them, right? Because that's the look of, of uh, criminals and bad people. Yo, this look was the same look yeah, in that era for them. For when, them, they, yeah. when, they, when people saw them, like, oh my god, let's walk the other way. You yeah, know, this is the <laughs> tattoo guy yeah, without yeah. tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. That's like, if you watch the movie Grease, that's exactly how it is, right? You oh, had yeah, like 100%. the preppy, you had the preppy kids, like that's the goody two shoe kids, like that's yeah. how the normal people were, right? 
And then you have the people that wore the leather jackets that had the dirt all over them, that, you know, worked on motorcycles and stuff like that. Those are the people like, oh, you got to stay away from them. They're the hoodlums. Yeah, they're the hoodlums. Like, what was the other yeah. movie? <laughs> the Outsiders, right? The Outsiders, yeah. It's around, similar the, around, to that, around the same time frame, I yeah. think. Yeah. 50s, yeah. The Warriors in the uh that was in the eighties, right? Yeah, Warriors was more Warriors 80s. 80s. Yeah, come yeah. out of play. Oh, well, I'll say seventies, eighties actually, because yeah. they did have disco still. So I'll say seventies. Yeah, I think it's late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, I'll say that too. Yo, I love this room because you got like the records, the pictures, and then you got that clock up there. And they literally yeah. traveling through time through the whole video. I thought uh, this video was very, very creative. I was like really surprised how well they did in English. And this song could like this could travel around the world for certain. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, this is a song that you can get popping at any events, weddings, birthdays, um, and you know, fun song. You know, people like to dance, and and they're yeah. gonna dance to good, good music. So yeah, they did a great job on this. Uh, to reach an audience further out from the Philippines, this, this is, is a great song. Yeah, yeah, this is a great song. I even like the little messaging that they had in that chorus, though. Like, you know, with the whole where you're at, there's no uh, groove within the music, right? Yeah. No sign mm -hmm. of your heartbeat in it. Uh, I'm alone. I, I like the part where they talk about the connected part. Like, why I ever get connected? Because you're already embedded in my heart and soul, right? Like, that, mm. they went in, like, in deep. Yeah. I was like, okay. Uh, that's I'll what I was begin. saying. Like, uh, the lyrics were there, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though, like, the song had that feel where, like, you don't, you're not expecting any lyrics, really. You just listen to the sound of the music. But like yeah. they actually have like they have lyrics in there, you know. No, great yeah. video. I mean, super upbeat, like what we've been talking about. I love like 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 we really got that Bruno Mars feel in this. But like it's also because it's like it makes perfect sense with how they did the music video, right? They went through like the different decades of like how music was, and like they they found the sound that like made the the best sense, right? Like yeah. that Bruno Mars sounds. It brings you kind of back in time. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. yeah. You know, it'd be fire, yeah. right? If if uh, Bruno Mars and sp19 collab that would be fire Ooh. bro yeah because bruno yeah. mars is one of my favorite artists i love he's him got mars, he's got bro. some filipino in him yeah yeah, yeah he's that filipino i think, I think yeah. he's filipino and puerto rican right puerto rican yeah yeah super fire song man sp19 i i think this was a, a different another different look that we haven't seen them do with, with this type yeah. of this type of music like it's, it's like another style on top of their 19 styles that we've already freaking seen right <laughs> yeah these guys just don't stop we, we already know that they can make a pop song now we know that they can do like upbeat r b kind of songs it's got a different 100%. avenue that we haven't seen them do which i like this was this was dope I mean, we estimate 19 styles, but they probably have way more than 19 styles so far. Like, they crazy. Cool. Within the songs, they got so many styles, and their music videos have been on point, bro. If they animated, not animated, like, all their videos have been... Yo, Gentle was on point. This one is on point. The, yeah. um, I can't say that name, but the, the an animated one. Hangang... Hulu, oh yeah yeah Hulu, yeah I, I, i'm not gonna butcher that either <laughs> yeah you know what i mean but but that one was nice too people in the comment section also told us that it was like five different stories within mm -hmm. that uh, music video that's why we were so confused why did the girl pass away and then the other one was here in the coffee shop the 2034 they were traveling through time in that one too and they traveled mm -hmm. through time in this one you know which i really like time travel so like i'm yeah i like that a lot thought that did yeah, great absolutely yeah. it's like the back to the is like a back to the future in a music video right you feel me my favorite <laughs> movies too <laughs> yeah i love back to the future yeah uh thank you for joining us on my catalog we just got done watching sb19s where you at official music video it was amazing we love their styles the music videos are always on point and their music is always on point and this one is super upbeat so the entire world can basically dance to it you know what i mean and vibe with it so shout out to sb19 guys don't forget to like subscribe share tell everybody about my catalog until next time peace when you're down and trouble